guest this morning is Kelly Clark, Marketing and Communications Specialist with Titusville Area Hospital. Kelly, good to see you this morning. Good morning, Luke. How have you been? Pretty good. How's the summer going? Uh, it's going really well. Have some nice weather. We uh, got through our golf scramble, which was uh, a huge success. So that was a great start to the summer. So it's Did downhill you, from there. Was there? I, I think we talked a lot about it last time you were on last month, but um, uh, there's really a lot to go through, right? So I mean, that's almost like a year long conversation even if it's just a couple seconds here or there it is it's ongoing throughout the years it, it is and actually we uh had a foundation meeting uh with our board members yesterday and we we're already talking about next year wow. about things we want to do a little bit different and uh so yeah it is a, it is a year-long process was it the first board meeting since the golf outing uh yes yes so um, everybody had to have been excited and happy. oh yeah yes we we did the best this year that we have have done so that's great uh, mm -hmm. you know I think again the community uh, understands uh, what's being done you're going out and having fun mm -hmm. but you're raising money for the hospital and yeah you have a track record of doing these wonderful projects mm -hmm. and you know I don't think there's ever a time where you go ah, we can't do that project now I mean it gets done it does get done uh, we raise a lot of money a lot of grant writing and definitely a lot of community support a lot of local foundations uh, that we write grants to have always supported the hospital projects and renovations. Um, I know we talked about it before, but the oncology renovation is what the golf scramble was for this year. So we are still working towards that. Uh, we are going to uh, have more information coming out, I'm sure, very soon about the, uh, more fundraising events for that. That's great. Yeah, that's great. And I'm sure uh, it's it's probably difficult to say, OK, what's the project we're going to pick next? I mean, it's not like you sit around and go, OK, let's it's going to take us a while to figure something out. I mean, you probably have lists and lists of things that you know yes. you hope to accomplish. We do. We do. Um, you know, it's a it's a small community hospital, uh, but there is a lot of things that happen there. We treat a lot of patients there and always looking for a service that we are maybe not fulfilling, a need we're not fulfilling, or possibly a department that hasn't been renovated for a while. And really a lot of it just comes down to what we can do for the patients to make their, their stay or their visit to the hospital a little bit better, a little more comfortable, uh, add better equipment, newer equipment, things like that. So it's actually pretty easy to come up with, uh, with projects. Is that why it is important to get uh, feedback uh, when, when, as you know, somebody's leaving the hospital, um, you know, they're always filling out information, right? Forms oh, and stuff. Definitely. But definitely. Definitely. Don't, don't just overlook it or skip it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we do community assessment, uh, for the, for the area and those questionnaires go out, I believe every two years. And it's really a good identifier of what services are missing for the area. Uh, so we use those sometimes and really just feedback from the doctors as well. Mm. You know, if you have a, have a lot of patients that are saying, you know, we don't have anyone in the area that, that can take care of this for me and I've been doing a lot of traveling, you know, those needs are definitely brought up to our hospital board as well. That's great. And it, it must be nice for them. It must be great for the community well, and the staff that uh, somebody's listening, right? People are mm -hmm. listening and they're engaged and encouraged yeah. to to help out in these situations right and to bring those services here yeah. uh, you know it just from the time that I started uh, you know we have uh, put in a Tynesta clinic uh, there's a TDU clinic um, we have a clinic in Oil City and that's actually being expanded right now uh, to offer more services in that oh, wow. clinic. it's the uh, Oil Valley internal med uh, associates, Dr. Lowe's, um, Dr. McAllister, Papa Skew, and Waylon. Waylon, yeah. I was like, I better not forget one. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they offer services in Oil City, and expanding those uh, offers more to the community. So, a lot of different different things, not just at the hospital, but throughout the throughout the area. That's wonderful. Yeah. And you, well, you mentioned those guys. Um, great personalities mm -hmm. uh community just loves but that's that's sort of been the reaction to even the new doctors that have been that you've been bringing in on the show over the last couple of years uh, yeah there's we, been just uh, this nice fit yes we actually had uh dr dr laux here last time he is the new pulmonologist that is offering services here at titusville 
Uh, he's here on a part-time basis. However, he has lots of appointments available for anyone that uh, needs to see a pulmonologist. And that's anyone that's, you know, having trouble breathing, COPD, uh, especially uh, this time of year, any kind of trouble breathing. So yeah, he, uh, he was a really great addition to the hospital. So that was a service that we hadn't offered in the past for quite a while. So we were so happy to bring him on and he, he's really great. I know uh, we got to talk to him last time we were here. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's funny when you learn uh, some of their backstories mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, you need to have a hospital band. I know. Um, that'd be I a think, great I fundraiser. I think we could fill it. Yeah. It would be a really great fundraiser, maybe for our uh, some more oncology they, events. They should do a Christmas concert. Yeah. Something. Yeah. It'd be great. Um, but yeah, uh, the, again, the personalities, uh, mm -hmm. this, you just seem to find the right fit. And not just here, but obviously they're spending time in Meadville as mm -hmm. well and are successful there. As, you know, so for both communities to, to have talent right. like that, it's, it's nice to have. Yeah. And I think, I think that's the feedback that both hospitals get as mm -hmm. well. I yeah. don't have to go out of the area for mm -hmm. you know to get this i can get you know service right here right. and um and it's wonderful yeah it is it is um you know and that's one of the things that we try to do is just to keep everyone here in the area uh transportation uh being in a rural community you know going to these appointments taking a half hour to get there a half hour home or sometimes more uh is is really you know uh hard for some folks yeah. Oh, which reminds me, uh, I don't know if you've seen the new CATA buses around. Uh, they are now offering uh, uh, an online app yeah. that you can stop and and they just stop right at the next bus stop. You don't have to wait. You don't have to memorize the bus schedules anymore. Uh, so we uh, are kind of paired with them. We did some advertising on their vans when they launched and it's a really great program and so far it's been a huge success. So if anyone out there is uh, looking for uh, some CATA rides, they have a really great new system that uh, a lot of folks are really utilizing. So CATA Go. Yeah, CATA Go. Yeah. Uh, and this is kind of a test area mm -hmm. for it, but uh, yes. my, from what I understand, it's been uh, yes. amazing. Yeah. I got to see uh, Tim Geibel yesterday, and he talked a lot about uh, the success that they've been having just in the short time that it's been launched. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, and again, we had Tim on the show a couple weeks ago, and you think, okay, can certain demographics understand and, and be able to do this so mm -hmm. that they can easily access that, mm -hmm. that transportation? and. The answer is yes. They get, mm -hmm. you know, if they can figure it out, mm -hmm. uh, or a relative can help them, or a friend, right. um, or you can still call. You can still call, and they'll schedule it for you. Uh, when I spoke with him yesterday, he said almost 60% of his riders are using the app. So, that's great. So yeah, we have a lot of folks that are are pretty savvy out there. So that's good. That's wonderful. Um, and again, uh, that can help you get to your appointment right to your appointments and not like I said not having to wait at the at a bus stop having to walk too far they added a lot of new stops to that so getting to the hospital is a little bit easier uh, for some folks on outlying areas middle part of July what uh, what's the biggest task on your table so middle part of July well we have a lunch and learn coming up okay. it's actually uh, next Thursday Dr. Gates will be talking about uh, some arthritis tips and really talking, diving in about uh, non-operative. So if you're not really ready for surgery, you're still having some pain with ar arthritis, he is gonna talk about some, some different things you can do. And it's a really great event that you can come into the hospital, talk with the doctor. It's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. He answers a lot of questions and you really get to know him. Um, prior to coming into an appointment and get a lot of uh, free information and be able to make some decisions on your health. So we're offering that on July 27th. Uh, you can call me directly or you can go online and schedule uh, or reserve your seat. You can call 827-1060 or like I said, go on the titusvillehospital.org website and schedule for yourself. Seats are limited. We um, do have some left though. All right, but they've been very successful. 
They have. They have. Uh, we have had some dietary. Uh, Amelia Finneray, she is our new dietitian. Uh, a wealth of really great information. And the same thing, you get to come in and enjoy a meal, and she kind of uh, shows you, you know, this is what this looks like, uh, gets to gets to answer a lot of personal questions for people. You know, not everyone is the same. Not everyone's eating habits are the same. And being able to answer your own personal question about those things is really helpful to folks without having to come in for an appointment. Uh, she does offer appointments if you do need more information or we're not able to, to join the Lunch and Learn. You can give her a call and she can set up a one-on-one -on -one with you but she is, she is a wealth of information. So it was really great to have her. That's such a, a struggle too, uh, especially this time of year when everybody's like, oh, do I, I gotta fit into a bathing suit or <laughs> I wanna go to the beach or I wanna do this. Or, I just wanna yeah. be healthier. Yeah, and, and I do, you know, sitting and I listen to some of her talks and, and really it, it would be a struggle. You know, some of the parties that you go to and some of the barbecues you go to over the summer, mm -hmm. you know, you look at the buffet of food and what are what are you really supposed to eat there and what are the options and and what is okay and how how to balance that that blood sugar level. And that was a lot of her talks was really just, you know, live it not, you know, and all you eat is salad. You no, know, it was it was more like common things that you can do every day regardless of what the, the menu is and making small changes. So I think it was really helpful to a lot of people to, to really have that real life discussion and not, you know, and then you just eat, you know, salad every day. So it was a really great discussion. You know, that's a great conversation to have, even going back to school here mm -hmm. next month. Um, you know, I, I, things are difficult for, for families. You know, you yes. go to the store, prices are higher than they've, mm -hmm. you know, than they ever been. And, um, you know, when you look at a box of Twinkies and they're $2 a box versus $8 for a bag of apples, mm -hmm. and you think, man, I, okay, I got two bucks. Right. You know, I'm going to put that in my kid's lunch instead of the apple. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, parents have to make difficult uh, decisions. But at the same time, you're also, you know, the health of the child. Right. Uh, or, I mean, anybody, but. Right. And she does uh, counsel children as well, along with their families. Uh, so she does offer that. And same thing, uh, and just offering small changes. You know, this instead of this. Eat this with this instead of, uh, you know, all of your carbs together. Put Mix in protein in your vegetables. And I think that that's really important for parents. You know, we all live really busy lives. Um, so small changes are definitely easier than than large large scale changes i just thought of this and i don't know if there's any connection uh but uh, holly wolf hasn't been on in a while and i'm thinking it has something to do with the fact that we teased her about bringing carrots and <laughs> celery sticks to a christmas party instead of like christmas cookies yeah so right. I, I don't know maybe there's, there's right something there. yeah i think uh, uh yeah i'll have to tell her we're sorry maybe she'll come back on with me <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not until she starts bringing Christmas cookies <laughs> instead of celery and carrots. Uh, you're watching The Morning Drill on stream television and on Armstrong's Neighborhood Channel and listening to it on the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network. Uh, Kelly Clark with us here this morning, communications and marketing specialist with Titusville Area Hospital. Uh, so you mentioned um, fundraising and the mm -hmm. golf outing was a big success. Yes. Um, there's some other things coming up that you're taking part in to, to also help raise some money. Yeah, so Crawford Gives um, will be starting August 27th. It's a three-day event where uh, all of the nonprofit organizations um, can sign up to be a part of that. And it is through the Crawford Heritage Community Foundation. Uh, they do a lot for this event, and it's really a large scale. Uh, if you look at the hundreds of different nonprofits that they list on their website. You can go on there, pick a nonprofit that you would like to donate to and donate within those three days. They offer, they usually offer a match of some sort, a percentage. Uh, so your dollars are, uh, you know, incentivized in that way, which is really helpful. And they publicize it. They put a lot of work into that event uh, for these nonprofits. Um, so we always take part in that. We will be uh, advertising as well. That will be for our oncology project as well. So That's wonderful. Lots of more information to come out about that. So, uh, yeah, we're really, really uh, 
grateful to be a part of such a such a widespread community where things like that are important and you know they really go the extra mile they have put out signs they've offered uh, all kinds of publications for us so so and they do that for everyone for all of the nonprofits that uh, sign up for that so lots of more information will be coming out about that soon all right yeah be on the lookout for it yeah Christian's so, a good guy so yes he is he is and he really puts his heart and soul into that not only this but a lot of different different events uh, we do a lot of grant writing to their foundation uh, they do a lot of fundraising for their for their own foundation which is really great they're they're at a lot of events I'm sure that they'll be at the uh, Crawford County Fair uh, they usually do something great so yeah and usually Christian uh, has something in the fair oh yeah yeah so whether it's I, I he did some rapping and he's mm -hmm the nuts and he's yeah he's got a lot going yeah, on so he does he does he's fun uh will you guys be at the fair this year we will okay uh we will we will be there for <clears throat> titusville days i don't know which day that will be monday well is it on monday yeah good so we will be there for that and then the meadville medical center will be set up in their barn so we'll be in there a couple days so yeah that's great and folks uh have a good time coming around and saying hi and oh definitely definitely and it's it's really great to see some of the folks i don't get to see all the time uh and i get to see a lot of familiar faces for titus full days and and you know they're like us they're out there raising money and a lot of nonprofits. uh the folks from the the drake drake well are usually there uh, a lot of great organizations uh in the area come that day so it's fun to see everyone yeah do you enjoy that aspect of of what you do um like the golf outing you're out right titusville day at the crawford county fair you're out i mean yeah. the, just to to have those communications with with the community that has to be wonderful it is it is you know a, lo a lot of my work is sitting in a computer and 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 doing that sort of work so to be out in the community and talk to people and really get, and that's another way we would get the feedback, you know, uh, talk to people about the golf outing. Um, you know, everyone this year, our biggest feedback this year, which w was really great, was uh, how smoothly it went. Oh. Yeah. Was that your feedback? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> two, two things. I, well, yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> the, the pace, the, I mean, mm -hmm. it just, it was like professionally done. Not, yeah. and not, I played in it last year too, and it was the same thing. I mean, it was yeah. just very well done. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the other thing, and it just reminded me, I have to talk to you once we're done. Um, the hamburgers. Were they good? They were amazing. <laughs> I want to order hamburgers from your, from whoever you order them from. Yeah. 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 We could probably hook you up with that. Okay. Because they were amazing. <laughs> no, no, Get, Kelly. Like, amazing. Amazing. Yes. I will let them know. Please do. I will make sure that we have the same ones for next year. Please do. Because I have a feeling that there was a whole hamburger debacle for for a minute there. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because uh, we usually get our hamburgers donated, and then I'm not real sure what happened, but at the last minute we had all the hamburgers. Um, so I'll have to figure out where, where they ended up coming from. Oh, like I took a picture of the box. I started to look. <laughs> uh, no, I'm serious. And I started to look online to see wh where I could order them from. I'm like, yeah. you know, I'll just talk to Kelly and see. Yeah. Maybe I can buy them from the hospital, but yeah. I will, if they're the same ones, I will buy them from you, but they were great. I will, I will figure it out <laughs> okay. for you. I'll hook you up for, Thank next, you. for your next barbecue. Yes. Well, I don't know if you want to share them. You might want to just hoard them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were great, but no, it was very well done. Yeah. Not well, the hamburgers and the golf outing. <laughs> so good. You know, those are all cooked by volunteers. It's not even like a professional chef we bring in. So you too can have a. A fabulous hamburger. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. And if I have to come up today and buy some, you just let me know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you know what's okay, available. I'll, I'll be right up. Yeah, we we'll uh, handing it out the back door of the cafeteria. Yes. <laughs> be another fundraiser. Yeah. My donation to the hospital. I want the hamburgers. Yeah, maybe that can be. That would be a good fundraiser. You know. Uh, Luke no. Luke Rio says uh, best hamburgers. Not to throw you off here, so I'm sorry. No, but anyways, that's, yes, people. That's great feedback. See, this is the feedback we get when we're out in the world. <laughs> Hamburgers. I'm going to talk about yeah. golf. <laughs>
but no, they were good. Uh, but no, great, uh, great outing. And, uh, you know, you, you're coming into the, the latter part of summer here. So you've got uh, Crawford Gives, as you mentioned. Uh, you, then you're going to be coming into the fall and mm-hmm. towards the end of the year. And, of course, folks looking to uh, make donations towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. The hospital's certainly available to listen to uh, what you'd like to do with that money. Yes, yes. And we, we do. We have a big push at the end of the year uh, just to – you know really follow up our our year strong the auxiliary always does lights of love which is a a great fundraising event uh that event usually goes back to departments so we ask the departments to put together a wish list for items that maybe didn't make it on the capital list things that maybe have you know worn out in that time so that is a really great fundraiser for for us for different departments it might be something small or something big and the Lights of Love dollars go towards that. So that's always a, a fun event at the end of the year. Well, Kelly, if folks have uh, questions, want for more information or uh, find out how they can give, how do they reach you? Uh, you can call my office directly. My number is 827-1060. If you want to know anything about the Lunch and Learn or any future Lunch and Learns, you can give me a call. And also anything about the oncology uh, renovation and to make donations. Good to see you. It's good to see you. Thanks, Luke. Talk to you soon.